Hi, I'm Darren and this is Monkey Tree Woodwork. Thanks again for joining me in this video. Today I want to take you through another project that I had completed but hadn't put onto YouTube. Again, just to reiterate, I got to the point where it was quicker to do projects than to do the video. and uh, The videos were taking far too long and I just wanted to create new stuff. So um, I thought now, after a little while away, I would catch up with some of the projects that I've done and just show you what I've done. Um, this one today is uh, a drinking game uh, for bottle opening. I have it around the house uh, during barbecues, friends round in the summer evenings, that type of thing, you know. Uh, uh, and it's a um, blink plonk, so the bottle tops will um, drop down, deflect off the screws on the way down and end up in the one of four compartments at the bottom and each one of those have a description um, on what you should do if that bottle top lands in there. Uh, on this side I've got pass it on next to it, down it in one, have a shot or give a shot. So I made this up uh, with leftover wood. The um, backboard itself was left over from a project that I'd done um, in my shed, um, boarding out my shed, so that was leftovers. The frame itself is uh, just some pine um, which I had, uh, 68 mil by 18 thickness, and then some just our brackets uh, just for um, make it look good rather than just um, just having a butted up joints that they are. The actual bottle opener itself um, bought off eBay um, for about three quid, four pounds, so um, pretty inexpensive and the screws are already had here anyway so um, nothing nothing really bought so a fairly cheap unit. Uh, the perspex on the front, you do need the perspex for the bottle top, sometimes it can jump itself out so that just keeps it in place and again this uh, the, came from, believe it or not, my shed window. Um, uh, unfortunately the shed uh, perspex that they supplied was quite cheap and thin so I've replaced that now with some glass and I've just edged it with some uh, insulation tape, black insulation tape. What I found was making this, because of the screws um, and the bottle top are in close proximity with each other, normally you would uh, put a bottle here and drop it down to open open the, the, the uh, bottle itself and the lid to come off. Um, if that was flush, I've had to bring it forward, I'll show you show you that in a little bit. Um, but if that was flush against the back there, um, you couldn't get leverage because of the screws and, and, and the um, perspex was in the way. So uh, on the back end of the top screw, I've added a piece of aluminium tubing to bring that forward. So a normal circumstances, you'd put the bottle here and pop it um, open. The screws in the perspex wouldn't allow you to do that. So I've had to put uh, a bit of aluminium tube in behind there on the top screw to bring it forward so now you're almost opening the bottle in reverse order but because of the the leaning forward of it it's very similar to as if you were putting it in normally and popping it. So now it goes in here and then you drop it down and the bottle uh, top will come off that way rather than going in and up. So you're going down now with it. Um, and that allows you to come in at that angle and miss the perspex and screws and by the time the bottle top comes off you're not hitting this. Then the um, bottle top will drop down, ping through the screws and end up in one of the bottom compartments. So uh, you have to tinker. It didn't quite come out of the way that I was expecting it to. So as I said that came from eBay. Uh, aluminium tubing came from um, B and Q. Just a, a length of it, it's not not very much. The screws I already had. The perspex came from my shed window, um, and a bit of perspex obviously from there and there. 
um, a bit of black tape to go around it. The backboard had it from the refit of my shed and uh, the edging um, I just had around from whatever I had done previously. So that's it. And I ended up finishing it off with uh, putting some um, hooks, um, eye hooks on the, on the top and that uh, has got a permanent hook in place around by my barbecue that that can go on but I don't want to leave it out during the winter and, and such like so, uh, so it comes in out of the way. The writing is actually um, etched, burnt etched um, wording on there uh, with a um, burning iron you see them in craft shops and, and um, places. Now uh, this was an actual soldering iron that I bought for um, a job many years ago that had a very wide um, spade on the end of it uh, or you could interchange. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go, let it heat up and see what happened um, and actually it turned out really well. That hasn't been coloured, that is just purely uh, uh, the, the burning of the wood. Um, and then I uh, blow torched the um, outside of it just to uh, give it some coloration and finished it off with some clear varnish. Okay so I'll show you a demonstration of how this works and, and the different way of actually opening the bottles by bringing the bottle opener forward at the top so you're not doing it the traditional up and out. You're going up and, and in. So into here it'll catch so I hope you liked this video again just a quick simple build uh, using up some leftover wood and using some of the screws and brackets that I already had in the workshop you can you know easily make something like this yourselves by just buying some of the stuff um, if you don't have this sort of stuff lying around but very simple you can get all these uh, bits and bobs from uh, your local DIY stores so thanks for watching please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tick the bell if you want to be notified of further videos that I bring up which I'll be showing you some more little projects that I've done thanks again see you soon